Hey, welcome back. Today we are looking at AWS App Runner. So App Runner is a fully managed service that makes it easy to deploy containerized web apps and APIs at scale without any prior intra experience. Let's go to the App Runner dashboard. Let's take a look at some benefits. So it has automatic deployments, load balancing, out of the box auto scaling. Let's create a new service. So the first step is defining our source. You can either use a container registry like ECR or our source code repo. So here I'll be deploying our simple Next.js project. So I'll use source code repo. So my GitHub account is already connected, but you can just click add new to add a new one. Okay, so I'll use a different repo. Let's use automatic and next. So in this step, we'll configure our build. We can either define it here or use a app runner config file like this. For now, I'll just define it here. I'll use Node.js. So we'll install our dependencies and do a build. And then we can just use yarn start. Port would be 3000. Let's go to next step. I'll give it a service name of sample. CPU and memory looks enough. We can skip the environment variable for now, but you can add it if you want. Auto scaling. You can provide custom auto scaling. Let's leave it at default. Health check also looks good. If your app is using AWS CLI or SDK to access some services, you will have to create a new IAM role and assign it here. We can give tags, but for now, let's skip it. Let's click next. Okay, so review and create. Everything looks okay. Deploy. Let's wait while it deploys. Perfect. Seems like our app is running. So I'll check out the default domain. Great. Our app seems to be running. Let's go back. So here we have activity, logs, config, metrics, custom domain. If you want to add like a new domain from our Route 53, I guess. I will also add that app runner is a relatively new service when compared to ECS or EKS. Okay, I guess this is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.